Hi guys, this is Jeremy from Duster3D. Duster3D is an open source, quick, modern software for game developers. In this video, I'm going to introduce a new feature, real-time remesh in Duster3D. At the beginning of the year of 2019, a user has been suggested instant meshes to me on our Discord forum. His name is Trevor. At that time, my main focus is the mesh generation, not the remesh. Remesh is kind of post-processing of the generated mesh. So I did an initial test and forget about it. Until recently, I want to implement a sculpting feature. The current generated mesh is kind of low poly, so I need to find a way to remesh it to high poly. At the time, a friend who has been discussed new future with me for years through email, his name is Memo. He suggests I should use Quadriflow. It's already being integrated to Blender. And it generates better results than instant meshes. So I tried the Quadriflow first. The result is quite good. If you have been following my Twitter, you may already see my tweet about the quadriflow. The result is very nice. It fixed very bad small triangles. However, it takes about 5 seconds to remesh a Duster 3D model. I've tried to turn on all the optimizations, and it's still very slow. I compared it with the integrated version in Blend 2.81. The speed is the same. So that means my integration don't have major problems. Five seconds is actually acceptable for Duster 3D. Normally, the mesh generation is finished in one second. So the user can see the real-time feedback and then adjust the nodes based on the result. Instant mesh doesn't have an official library which could be used directly. It's a software. It's a binary, but it's open sourced. So I write a wrapper which makes use it in another software much easier. If you are interested in integrating instant meshes to your software, you can check the source code of Duster3D for reference. Well, I must say, instant meshes is amazing. As you can see from the video, This is the original mesh generated. And then this is the remesh result. And then you can choose the poly count because this, um, this rotation use too much CPU. Now, let's see again. See? It's less than one second. And the result is very, very nice. Let's see another example. Because I'm recording, so the response time is a bit longer. See, this is a with this is a result without remesh. See these triangles, these annoying triangles. Now let's see the magic. the wrong, wrong one. See, all the small triangles are gone. It's very beautiful.
The initial mesh generality is not good, but after the mesh is beautiful. I don't think I can manually re retop roll it like this. No need to mention how time consuming if do it manually instead of just click. Now the integration has been finished and it will be included in the next release. You can download the unreleased version to try this new feature first. Link in the description. Okay, this is the future preview of the remesh function in Dastro 3D. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thanks and see you next time.